and my production is called I Believe. My target audience is people aged 16 to 20. I found this out because I did some research and uh, people aged 16 to 20 seem to have a lot more time on their hands to watch films. <laughs> and I also found this out because when I was going around sort of asking people about my ideas, people who were like sort of 22 years plus weren't particularly interested in my ideas. <laughs> Um, and then I sent out a survey to try to find out what sort of they, what they wanted to see, and lots of them wanted to see horror. I did have quite a few say they wanted to see like a horse and pony story, but I had more people want horror, so horror it was. Um, and I had some people say they wanted more cinematic, others say they wanted um, lost footage sort of thing. More people said cinematic, and I wanted to challenge myself, so I went for the cinematic idea. Um, why choose the paranormal? Well, it is something that fascinates me, the idea that there is another realm that we cannot see. And I also want to sort of bring the awareness of it up so that we can have more people sort of research it and find out if it's true or not. Um, as well as it is very entertaining to have a horror and scare people. It seems to be something lots of, uh, lots of people like. Um, and then problems I encountered while filming. Well, when I was searching, when I was look, look, research looking up um, what sort of things make a horror scary, um, one of the things that came up was younger sort of people in it, so younger children, play, like being act, like being actors. So I decided I'd get some of my sister's friends. They were sort of aged thirteen to fourteen come act for me. However, that was a big mistake because they kept on giggling the entire time. So in hindsight, I think next time I would use slightly older actors. Well, I can't do that anymore because the way I did it, I didn't re-script it because I, I was basing it around the, um, the actors, uh, how they felt, so their expressions and like, how scared they were. So um, I had someone scare them with knocking and um, footsteps, turning lights on and off, etc. Um, and another problem I had was the lighting, which I limited myself in the post-production with how I could edit it, whether it was brighter or darker, because the whole, the footage that I'd filmed, it was quite dark and I struggled to get it lighter. So in the end, I sort of illuminated the faces of the actors more rather than focused on getting it darker or lighter. Um, and that's, you don't need to go. <laughs>